Hey guys, uh, in this session, we're going to be looking at simplifying quadratic expressions, particularly the ones in fractions. Um, yeah, so let's just kind of get into it straight away. Now, I've put up a few questions here, so hopefully by the end of this video, you guys can kind of solve questions like question E. Starting with question A, um, the most common mistake that I see people doing is this. They look at those two x's there at the numerator with 3x and x in the denominator, and they do this. They cancel out each other. Now there is an underground myth that goes with something dying every time you do this. I can't remember whether it was a star or something like that. But anyway, we just don't do that. All right. So if you do, if you are one of those people that actually thought about doing it, then please don't do it. And there is a reason behind it. And that's because um, of this plus nine and plus three. What you have to do is you have to look at the numerator and see if we can factorize it. All right. The only time you can go around canceling things is when you have something like this. <clears throat> So if I had 3x over x by itself, <clears throat> then I can cancel out the two x's. But if I have 3x plus a number, then because of that plus, uh, we can't really um, kind of cancel it out. So you got to look at common factors. So in the numerator right now, I can see that 3 is a common factor. So if I take out 3 as a common factor, I end up with x plus 3. And then in the denominator, I have x plus 3. So now what I can treat is I can treat the x plus 3 in the denominator as one single number. And when I do that, I can cancel out my x plus 3s, which gives me a final answer or simplified answer of 3. So this is what we have been kind of doing. So when we get to question B, again, I've seen people do this. They'll see that x and the 8x and then the x plus 2, and they'll cancel out the 2x's and start coming up with some really weird looking simplification. But what we are going to do is we are going to see if there's any factors that we can actually get rid of. So the best way to do this is to look at the numerator. Now the numerator is a quadratic. Because it's a quadratic, I can actually split it up into two brackets. And in this case, I can see that it's going to be x plus 6 and x plus 2. And this is all now divided by x plus 2. And now, because the denominator can be put in a little brackets, what I can do is I can get rid of the x plus 2 in the numerator and in the denominator, and finally leaving my answer as x plus 6. Now, one thing that's worth noting is this. When you're doing um, quadratic expressions, you're going to have a factor that's going to be in the numerator or denominator. So if you look at question C, for example, right now we have this uh, x minus 6 here. All right. Now that means there's a very good chance that x minus 6 is going to be a factor in the numerator. All right. Um, and if you look at the question that I've actually done, in this case, is x squared minus 36. So we know that x squared minus 36 is difference of two squares, and we can rewrite it as x plus 6 and x minus 6. And now this is all divided by x minus 6. So at this point, what I can do is I can cancel out my two x minus 6s, and I leave a simplified answer of x plus 6. So that's how it works out really nicely for questions A to C. But what happens when we get to question D? Um, well, Here's the kind of uh, two hints that I'm going to give you. With the first one, 2x squared plus 5x minus 12, we've got to factorize it. Now, if you've been watching the this particular series of videos, you know that there's a couple of ways of doing this. You have got, um, you know, the, doing the 2 times negative 12 and then splitting the 5 up and blah, blah, blah. Or you can use quadratic formula, which I'll be talking about later on. Or you could uh, use the graphics calculator hack to try and work out what the factors are. But here's another way you could actually do this. Here's the hack way of doing this, all right? And this is kind of cheap. Uh, and we can actually see if it works or not, because look at this. Because I'm looking at that x plus 4 in the denominator, um, what I'm going to kind of do is I'm going to be cheeky and do this. I'm going to put an x plus 4 there, all right? If I put an x plus 4 there, because I know that this fraction is going to, you know, we can find a, um, find a common factor and we can actually get rid of it. Now, because it's an x plus 4 here, uh, if I look at it, I need to look at what number is going to be put in here so that this number multiplied by x is equal to 2x squared. And so here I know that that first number there then has to be 2x. And as for um, the constant, so if I look at the constant, which I'm going to highlight in blue, so that's negative 12. And I've got 4 multiplied by some number should equal to negative 12. And I know that some number is going to be negative 3. All right, now that is a cheeky way of doing it, and I can actually expand it out. So I know the n terms work out, but if I look at the middle term, I've got 2x times 4, which is 8x. 
and then negative 3 times x which is negative 3x and I'm gonna get 5x and 5x is what I've ended up getting here so that means my um, factorization works out all right so then I can cancel out my x plus 4 and x plus 4 and I've left with 2x minus 3 all right so you don't want to play the guessing game and you want to, you're like actually show me how to do it the long way okay so the long way we got 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 what we're going to do is we are looking for um, first off we're going to go 2 times negative 12 which is negative 24 and what we're looking for is two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add up to positive 5 so in this case we know that this these two numbers are going to be a positive 8 and negative 3 because 8 plus negative 3 is equal to 5 so that 2x squared I'm going to split it up as 2x squared plus 8x minus 3x minus 12 so just to reiterate that 5x right there is now split into 8 and minus 3 and that's where that plus 8 and minus 3x comes from so once I do that I need to factorize them by parts so I'm going to look at the left hand side of this little green dotted line and I can see that 2x is a common factor so that's going to be x plus 4 and then on the right hand side I've got negative 3 as a common factor and that's going to be x plus 4 and now I've got x plus 4 as a common factor which means I can take that out and I'm left with x plus 4 multiplied by 2x minus 3 and what you'll see is that is literally what I ended up with earlier on and then you can just kind of keep carrying on and you should end up with the final answer of 2x minus 3 cool so let's go to the last question here uh, question E now with question E you know I, I showed you guys that earlier shortcut unfortunately it's not gonna work and the reason it's not gonna work is because if you look at the denominator you've got two factors what I mean by that is let's have a look so the numerator um, okay so I've got to do with this the long way so I'm actually gonna write this down on the side here I've got 3x squared minus 7x plus 2 um, so what I've got is 3 times 2 which is going to give me 6 so I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 6 and two numbers that add up to negative 7 so my two numbers are going to be negative 6 and negative 1 negative 6 and negative 1 so I'm going to write that out 3x squared minus 6x minus x plus 2 and now I'll have to partial um, split it up into two factorize the uh, left hand side so I've got 3x as a common factor which is going to be x minus 2 and then here I've got negative 1 as a common factor which means I can rewrite this as x minus 2 now I can see that x minus 2 and x minus 2 are common factors so I can rewrite this as 3x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 so just kind of reaffirming that uh, 3x is actually from there the negative 1 is from there now the reason why that previous method that I showed you in D is not going to work is because of this. See, you could have done this. You could have done 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. Uh, because you got 2 as a common factor, you can take it out, which means you're going to get x squared minus 4. Now x squared minus 4, we can easily um, factorize. Because when we factorize, we're going to end up with 2x minus 2 and x plus 2. And because we have two brackets in the denominator, we can't do this guess and check method that we did in um, question D um, how I showed you guys earlier is not gonna work so that's why we do need to learn how to factorize this so that now the numerator I can replace it with 3x minus 1 because I've just factorized it on the right hand side there and x minus 2 and as for the denominator I can write it 2 x minus 2 and x plus 2 so now I look at my common factors x minus 2 and x minus 2 disappear and that's basically it because I don't really have anything else that I can do so this ends up being 3x minus 1 divided by 2 times x plus 2 and that's we leave it at that so that is just a quick little summary here of what have we got we got everything in there yeah we got everything in there so that's just a really quick summary of uh, simplifying quadratic expressions there guys Dang, nine and a half minutes. Thought I could keep that a bit less. Anyway, that's basically it for this little video, guys. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some uh, playlists popping up. Check them out. And as always, thank you for watching.